Welcome to Russell's Parent Math Online University. I'm Cheryl Chesterfield, the math academic coach. Today I'm going to share with you two strategies that your child may have learned in school. The first is an addition strategy. Your child has a background knowledge about place value. Our students have learned that every digit in a number has a place and that place gives that digit a value. This addition strategy uses that background information to help your child add large numbers successfully. Let's take a look at our first problem today. The store has bikes on sale. The red bike costs $185 and a blue bike costs $245. How much would it cost to buy both bikes? So first your child would set up the addition problem 185 plus 245. Then they would expand each of these numbers out based on the value of each digit. So we would have 100 because there is a 1 in the hundreds place, 80 because there is an 8 in the tens place, and 8 times 10 is 80, plus 5 because there is a 5 in the ones place, and 5 ones equal 5. They would do the same thing to the other numbers. So we have 200 plus 40 plus 5. Then they would add these numbers together. So we'd have 10 plus 120 plus 300. And now we're going to add these numbers together. 300, 120 plus 10. So our final answer is 430. So it would cost $430 to buy both of these bikes. For our next strategy, I'm going to show you an addition, a multiplication strategy. This multiplication strategy also uses their prior knowledge on place value. This is a strategy that your child can use to multiply a three-digit number by a one-digit number or a four-digit number by a one-digit number. So, so let's take a look. 385 times 3. First, we take that number and we'd expand it out based on the value of each digit. 380, because there's also an 8 in the tens column, and a 5. And I like to put it in a box because I feel that it helps your child be able to see exactly what place these numbers are. And the number we are multiplying by, we put on the outside of the box. So now we're going to simply multiply each box. So 3 times 300, 900. 3 times 80, 240. And 3 times 5, 15. And now we're going to add these numbers together. So we get 900. 240, 15, and our final answer is 1,155. I hope that these strategies are helpful to you. Please try and practice them at home with your child. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at Cheryl.Chesterfield at CobbK12.org.